Hey everyone, my name is Vladimir, I'm one of the developers of the game called Lazy Galaxy and since the game is going to be released real soon, I'm going to demonstrate what the game is about by showing you first five minutes of the gameplay. So first of all, let's start. And I'm going to skip the cutscene, so not to spoil anything. But the idea is that you're commanding an alien race that wants to take over the universe but just simply lacks motivation to do so. And uh, the genre is a bit of a mix between incremental games, the classical ones, and the tactical strategies. I just wanted to add the battle system into it. And you have seen the second part, the battle system, but right now I'm going to show you the first part. Basically the idea is that the, enemy, the aliens conquered the first galaxy, now they move to the next one, their pod crashes, and then you start gathering your sources, like in the classical incremental games. It just starts out pretty slow. You click on the asteroids to get enough metal, just mining them. And after a while, when you get enough minerals, you can build a building, uh, which is called automatic mine. So it should be doing the work for you, but it doesn't because it does not have energy. So you power it up by clicking it first, but you can kind of guess that, uh, well, it's not convenient to click on it all the time. So to uh, help it, you just build the next thing, which is called solar panel. All buildings, in, all buildings in Lazy Galaxy require energy to function. So solar panel just produces this energy and uh, right now it automatically powers up the mine. You can also upgrade buildings, so they give you more resources, but as you can see the consumption increases. So the energy consumption increased and the energy production is getting kind of slow. And if I build one more mine, for example, there are no restrictions. Well, there are restrictions, but for the production buildings, there are mostly no restrictions. So I build another automatic mine, also upgrade it three times, and as you can see, the energy is not being produced anymore. So I just upgrade the solar panel again, and I get the energy back and running. So after I get enough resources, I can build the next building, laboratory. And laboratory is responsible for the upgrades and researches, which adjust the game further. For example, the first research that you can uh, unlock is the sharpened tentacle research, which gives you more clicking power. When you click on the asteroids, as you can see, it greatly improved, but it's still more effective to upgrade the mines for now. So, after you have more resources, you will be able to build the next production building, which is called Fuel Platform. So, Fuel Platform produces the resource which is necessary for the next combat part of the game. And this fuel thing, it's slow right now, but it's going to get better after I, I upgrade it and do some researches. So, yeah, after I have enough fuel, I will be able to research the Star Travel upgrade. Let me just upgrade my buildings or maybe build a new ones to fasten the process, to make the process faster. So yeah, as you can see, it just starts getting faster and faster, the production. I can boost it further by researches, but right now I'm just going to focus on doing the star travel thingy and showing you the battles. So after I gather enough resources, I will be able to build a starport. And this will allow me to launch ships into space. So here we are. I have enough resources. I build a starport. Then I will be open to I will be able to open the starport panel and just build cool ships and send them into space. So this is how it's done. I built two fighters, I just press launch and they fly and fight the enemies. As you can see, those are the enemy fighters. The idea is that, you, as you can see, no hands, they're fighting by themselves if I want to. But, if I want to influence the battle a bit more, I just select my fighters, like in the classic strategy games, by left or right clicking, and navigate them directly. I do this because I want to avoid enemy projectiles, like bullets. So, as you can see, the or just focus fire if I want to. I select multiple fighters, then I just want to focus fire this one, for example and I right click on it and as you can see both are focusing this thing. Uh, navigating them manually also helped me to dodge the enemy abilities 
And after every battle, I get the rewards. I think at the beginning of the game, the most significant one is the experience. The thing is, when you fight the enemies and progress further, the enemies become tougher. But the rewards also become bigger. But the idea is that your initial fighters won't be enough. You will be unlocking new planes, but you also can and will upgrade those existing planes to make them stronger. So let me just show you in a moment. As you can see, it takes a bit more time right now to damage the enemies. And it's the first, first sign that the enemies are getting tougher. Let me retreat from the battle and I will show you. Uh, as you can see, after the battles I have quite a, a lot of experience and I will be able to upgrade and purchase the better ships. Not really the better ships, because at the beginning of the games uh, the ships have different weapons. For example, the ballistic ships won't be good against the enemy fighters. But since I'm progressing a bit further, there's a chance that I will be encountering much stronger ships. Let me dismiss the weaker ship from my fleet. So right now when I launch it, I will be able to select where to go. Right now there's only one point, it's the beginning of the game. But after that there's a conquest of planets and uh, meteors that give you specific rewards. So what I wanted to show you is that after you upgrade the planes, the new abilities become available. For example, this rhino plane has the torpedo ability, which is quite useless against uh, the enemy fighters but is pretty useful against bigger ships that we'll be encountering really soon uh, the mm, rhino ship has the mine ability and the enemy if the enemy stumbles upon the mine it will explode because the rhino is a bit slower so yeah it's quite easy for enemies to destroy it if they want to and after that, we have a final level, which we're going to clear in this sector. And there's the stronger ship. And normally the stronger ship will be able to deal with the fighters quite easier. But I will be able to navigate my ships and launch the torpedo, which deals bigger damage to them. So after I launch the torpedo, the ship takes more damage and we will be able to destroy it. Thus, when I destroy it, we will be able to clear the first sector. So I navigate my wasp, I launch the torpedo, I miss it, but it did not matter. And yeah, we cleared the sector, we were able to get some loot that we will open in the base. Let me just show it to you. As the game progresses, you will be able to combine those items. Those items give you permanent bonuses to whatever you want to. So yeah, I suppose after that you are able to choose where to go, what to conquer first. And um, I think this was the first five minutes of the game. Basically, I th I'm really proud of what we have. And uh, yeah, I think it just gives you the mix between idling or maybe a bit more active gameplay if you want to. But it's in no way a necessity to actively control the battles. So yeah, thank you for watching. You can check out the game if you want to. I'm leaving the link uh, in the comments below. And if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to comment or ask. And I'll be happy to answer. Thank you for watching. Vladimir is out. Bye.